Hi everyone. Right, I've bagged everything up. This is only a part of what I got, um, what I bought in. But these are what you're going to get in your parcels. So I'm going to go through it with you. Now I'm just going to pop this to one side. And we'll start with these. Now there was a big, big bag of pearl, mother of pearl. Now there's more to go in here. You get 30 pieces in here. There isn't 30 in this particular one. I've got to add to it. But, um, and they're all different. But there will be 30 pieces of mother of pearl. And these are beautiful charms and that that you can add to whatever you've got. You know, jewellery if you're jewellery making. Uh, that is a bead. Um, I think it's one of those screw... You know, you can put a, like a little screw top in there and hang that from whatever. So... The pearl bags, the mother of pearl bags, the 30 pieces in each one and they vary from what you get in them. So no bags are the same. So that's those. Now I did bag these up which are the, um, from the Pandora bracelets or you can use them on the stick pins like I showed you yesterday. Okay, so they're in bags of 24. We've got the flower ones which I've got to take the photographs them. At the moment only these are up. I think we've got five bags of one, three of another and one of another. These, there were only these for five beads like this, so I just put them together. And they are metal beads uh, with diamantes on them. They're absolutely gorgeous, quite heavy. So they sold as a set. Now, this I put together as a set. There's no point in me selling them all separate. Um, because there isn't. So, in here we've got, and they're quite big these. One, two, three, four, five of those. The roses. There's two more smaller roses. And the rest are butterflies and there's four. Um, these were the tiny ladybirds. See? Little tiny lady, ladybirds with the two older two old ones two bigger ones and that one has got a ring in it already and then a selection of these butterfly some are metal and some are acrylic so it's one set you're going to get all of that for the set price it's been um put on the shop i want to make sure i get all of this in if i can on the video i mean no point in selling them separate. There are two bags of these, which are the metal beads. These are gorgeous. Again, you can use them for the Pandora bracelets or in whatever jewellery or stick pins that you want. So I managed to split those and get what had what I had was to split them and get two bags of equal amounts. Then these Pandora bracelet ones, the way this was done, um, Two bags with pink, two bags, a uh, one bag of red, one mixed bag. There wasn't enough to go around all of them, so I've had to even them out best I can. Um, there's orange, red and pink in there, and then it's red with two pink. But I've put that on the listing, so you know what you're buying. Some more of those. These I've kept as one bag because I don't see any point in splitting them. Again, more of the Pandora bracelets, um, beads for Pandoras, or whatever you want to do with them. It is completely up to you, of course. Now, with the hearts, and there were dozens and dozens and dozens, what I've done, I've used... Um, one, two, three, four. There's eight small... Well, when I say small, they're not small. These are uh, large compared to the some I've got. There's, um, I've done them in bags of eight of one colour. That's for that size. Uh, the blue one, you're getting a dozen in. Um, let's have a look. Mainly, oh, anything that was that size, you got eight. Anything that was that size, you're getting four. And they're all the same colour. I'm not mixing colours, I'm putting the colours like that. There's a bag and the purple. When you put it up to the light, you'll see the picture. Look at both pictures when you drop on the, um, you know, click the, uh, the um, picture. Just look at both pictures because I show them as close up as I can. 
they're purple a bag of those and all the other ones that I couldn't make four of have gone into a bag like that so you're buying a bigger bag of mixed and that's a big bag there again more of the blue I managed to get so many of each bag you see let's have a look see what we've got here now more of those again they're small so you get eight they're large these are large so I've bagged them up into four those are eights like I say these are just gorgeous and um what was I the word I couldn't think of um and it's gone out of my head again <laughs> lamp work the lamp work ones those <laughs> There is a bag of small flat um, hearts as well. Some have, still, have got the little loop on so you can hang them straight away. Some haven't. These are the Lampwork beads. And they are stunning. Really, really pretty. So I've left them in bags of whatever there was. Some have got the uh, hooks on to join them. The loop, should I say. Oops. So like I've managed to bag those up, the green ones for the uh, Murano beads, the lampwork beads in different colours, that's a whole bag, not splitting them, uh, lots and lots of the hearts sold in bags of four, uh, another bag of the, uh, these are the beads that I've just mixed um, Murano, not Murano beads, um, Lampwork beads, hand blown. Some of, I mean, they're all gorgeous. They are, really are. J just stunning beads. But if you make jewellery, you're going to get a real good bargain. These are the Murano beads. You know, with the silver inlay uh, centres. But they're great for the bracelets. More of the Lampwork beads in red. More hearts. This is a bag. It, they were just acrylic beads. They were all the one colour and I put them together as a big bag. So they're only acrylic hearts. So I put in whether they're acrylic glass or crystal. That's a different heart to that one. That's the silver inlay and that one's clear. It's got like a little gold um, spray in them. More of those. Just have a look see what else we've got. These were all the round ones, but flattish stones. So I've just put them all together as one. It's easier for me just to get rid of them that way. I don't mean get rid of them, but to sell them that way. They were all the leftovers. The heart ones. Cylinder ones. Um, more of those. The lamp work ones. More lamp work in blue. Beautiful beads. And I know somebody wrote to me last time I sold these and they went, Fiona... You've sold them really cheap. I went, I know I have because I, we're not in it for. Um, it's really hard for some people to understand why I, what I do and why I do it. I'm here to give you the best bargain possible. As long as I get my money back and obviously a little bit and pays the charges that I have and whatever, I'm fine with it. You lot can do <laughs> uh, buy them as cheap as chips. I don't care. You know. I am not in it. People don't understand I'm not in it to make a killing and where most people are today. And everyone's shoved the prices right up. And mine are still the <laughs> Hey-ho. But there you go. They're all be sold eventually at some point. And there's a lot of beaders out there, you know, that what... Oops. Well, not that one. Where's it gone? Here we are. Come here, mate. There's a lot of beaders and people who make jewellery before grabbing these these are the squared beads I just put all the squared beads together because there wasn't that many so I thought we'll put them all together these are the um, milk glass ones like that and they're gorgeous these were there was a couple of these single ones I'll show you them in a minute they were the orangey ones just trying to colour coordinate them so that it was easier to bag and whatever the brown glass ones, I managed to do a uh, 100 beads in each bag. So there's only two of those. 
Um, these are the um, lampwork beads really decorative ones I mean they're gorgeous and somebody will make use of them again more of those these were the elongated ones both barrel shape and um, the cylinder ones this is a bag they were all the little flower ones and leaves and things like that the oddments so that's done these let me have a look these were the big beads pot beads and glass beads uh, so I just sold all them uh, selling them all together these are the Murano beads again which are the like more clear glass ones but they're all beautiful look at these flowers on them and that uh, Murano beads in black flowers that's that one let's have a look what we've got here the glass pendant which is gorgeous by the way and quite chunky as well more of those lots more of the hats done you know these got roses on or in them and these are the only ones there's one more somewhere i didn't there's one more like that but in a gold and brown must be on this lot somewhere well you don't know where i know it's in the box that's like a snowflake bead and these are the two uh, beads I'm selling separately because they are ex exquisite. They really are exquisite. And they're odd. So I just thought, well, we'll sell them separately. So you've got those. Um, that's it. I haven't put these two bags up yet because I need to rebag them. That's the seed beads. I'm going to rebag them. And I haven't put the wires up yet because I need to take a photograph of all of them. So, if you're interested in all of these, you're getting a lot for your money. Understand those overseas. We send and ship economy. It does take a little bit longer to get to you. And it's only three or four days longer. But it is half the price it would be if you sent it first class, second class. Um, and by the way... It's uh, it, up to a kilo is a set amount up to two kilos from one kilo to two kilos is a set amount so if you were to buy quite a bit the more you bought would be cheaper to buy uh, for the shipping because that, that's how it works don't ask me how but they have we have set amounts here so you might have um, like i say 500 gram up to a, a, a kilo is one set amount and that's how we do it so whether you bought two, three bags, you know, if they were over 500 gram, but not quite a kilo, you're going to pay the same. You know, so a 750 or something like that. Uh, just so you know, but I ship all over the world. And I have to say, nobody's really complained about the shipping and most people have come back for more. So that says it all, doesn't it? We do the cheapest shipping possible for you and um, we sell the cheapest goods but it's top quality gear as you can see it's not rubbish so that's it try it um if it states um i've got standard shipping on the website which is 850 for overseas and it's 345 for the uk um if it's cost that amount obviously or more we will request it if it's less we do do refunds um, I haven't got Melinda working for me at the moment because she hasn't worked for me for a while now with the COVID whatnot. Um, so I try and get them done myself and I can't always get to it within that certain time frame that we've been given or that we normally give out. So, um, and if I forget, most people remind me if I've forgotten to give the refund. So I'm not, you know, that's fine with me. I've got a lot on my mind. I am very busy and I appreciate it. So yeah don't worry about it we will refund but we'll also ask you if you owe it there is one lady i know it's only um a, a bit that she owes but i've sent several reminders and she's totally ignoring me <laughs> she hasn't come back to the shop yet but that you know we state in our policy that um you may be asked to pay extra shipping if it's cost more we do not know what each parcel is going to cost until we take it to the shop 
uh, to the post office. Once they let us know, we agree for it to go. If I'm not sure if the customer will agree to pay in any extra, I will always ask them, bring it, bring the parcel home and ask them first. And then I will take it back to the post office the following day. We do only ship once a week though, so it's. Um, I'm glad it's not. It doesn't happen too often. <laughs> but yeah, we always check with the customer if it's all right. If it's gone over the the amount you've paid, these are standard shipping prices that you're given. Three forty five for the UK, eight pound fifty for overseas, and like I say, you know. Let me know when your parcels arrive if you can. Just send a message on the shop. It's, it, what I have is a book that I write all of your orders down and that's been shipped. And then as they're shipped, um, once they arrive and people let us know, we tick it off. So we don't need to worry, look for, uh, you know, bother about it, whether it's uh, arrived or not. And uh, because we don't keep the paperwork, um, we only keep it for three months. The receipts we keep for five years. But the paperwork, the order, we don't keep... Uh, no longer than three months we don't have to keep that so if your parcel hasn't bloody arrived which is very rare so don't get me wrong um we we need to know where it is so we can trace it and write notes on your paperwork and everything and then once you've got your parcel within that period of time in three months time i dis just destroy the paperwork but we do keep a record in a book of every parcel that's left this house where it is dated the name of the person and the quantity they've spent. Just so that if I have to make a claim, it's all there and that's all I need. With the receipt. Alright? That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Run along to the shop. It's all on there now. I'm not putting any more up. Well, I, I've got a few bits to put up today. I'm going to put these reels up. Grab them while you can because you ain't going to get them any cheaper. Bye bye for now. <laughs>